Hi guys, welcome to my new video. In this video, I'm gonna show how to make this animation with Duik Basil 2 and After Effects. Let's get started. So, vectors from freepic.com, I will add the online link and project files. First step, let's select this background and lock layer. Then select this desk and cup lock layers and select this headphone left and select this air check hair eyes eyebrow mods and nose hair top and here headphone right let's see okay right mouse precoms add name here click okay then open head composition and right mouse new null object select this all these layers parent to this null select this null press s change scale move to here change again okay select this null and delete for quality vector select this all these layers and click this icon for quality vector look this okay nice so let's back to URL and select this here press s change scale move to here change again okay then go to solo and select this palm behind icon move to anchor point here click selection tool and unsolo let's select this hair back go to solo and move to anchor point here click selection tool and unsolo then select this hair back pair onto this head select this chair 3 chair 2 1 and again 3 4 go to solo okay change color red and unsolo all layers then select body go to solo move to anchor point down click selection tool and solo okay and pair onto this body foot main select this foot mains go to solo okay select this foot right and foot left pair onto this foot main and select this foot right go to solo select anchor point move to right click selection tool and solo select this foot left go to solo and move to anchor point here click selection tool and unsolo then select this here pair onto this body and select this hand one hand two pair onto this body select this hand one go to solo and select this icon puppet pin let's add one puppet here one here and one here click selection tool and change puppet engine legacy click ok and close select this hand to go to solo again puppet pin add one puppet here one here and one here click selection tool change puppet engine legacy and close then go to window open do it bezel tool and click this icon for rigging select this hand go to fx control Select this puppet and add bones. So let's parent bones. Select this bone 3, parent 2, select 2, parent 1. And select this 3 puppet pins bones. Click auto rig IQ for rigging. Nice. Select this controller. Let's see. Okay, cool. Let's unsolo this controller and these layers. Select these three bones, click this icon and click this icon for hide all layers. Okay, select this hand tool, this left hand. Go to FX control and select this puppet. Again, click add bones and select this puppet three, parent puppet two. Select puppet two, parent puppet one and select these three puppets click auto rig i key then let's select controller 
and let's hold to work it. Okay, nice. Select this puppet pins, click this icon for hide layers. Then let's click this icon for show hide layers and select this puppet one and this puppet one. Pair onto this body. Again, click for hide, select this body, press air, open rotation and let's change rotation. Nice. Okay. So let's close Duik and go to 7 seconds, press N in the keyboard and right mouse, select work area. Okay. And select this body, press P, make new position keyframe and go to 10 keyframe. For shortcut, you can use hold shift, press page down in the keyboard and move to down. Go to again 10 keyframe, select first keyframe, Ctrl C, Ctrl V and press N. Select keyframes, make easy ease. Let's see. Okay, select these three keyframes, hold Alt and move to right for speed animation. Let's select work area and let's preview. Okay, nice. So select this controller and this controller, press P, make new position keyframe, go to center keyframe and move to down this hand and this hand and move to right and this move to left. Let's see. Okay, go to last keyframe, select first keyframe, Ctrl C, Ctrl V and this Ctrl C, Ctrl V for loop animation. Select these keyframes, right mouse, keyframe ascent, easy ease or F9. Let's see. Nice. So, select this body, hold shift press R, make rotation keyframe and go to here, change rotation 3 and go to last keyframe, change rotation 0. Let's move to left this keyframe. Okay, select keyframes make easy is let's see okay nice so select this here press p make new position keyframe and go to here move to up go to last keyframe select first keyframe ctrl c ctrl v and make keyframes easy is let's see nice and select this here, hold shift press air, make rotation keyframe, go to here, change rotation 3, and go to last keyframe, select first keyframe, control C, control V, and make keyframes easy. Let's see again. Okay. So, select this here back, go to solo, and search effect wave warp. Select this wave, let's use for this hair back and change pinning all edge and let's change wave width. Let's see. Okay, let's unsolo. So not bad, we can change this 150. Okay, nice. So let's open here and let's create new null object for control phase objects. Hold control, click this icon, move to anchor point center and move to here. Then select this check and eyes, eyebrow, mods, nodes, pair onto this null object. Select this null, press P, make new patching keyframe, go to 10 keyframe. Move to down and go to 10 keyframe again. Select first keyframe, Ctrl C, Ctrl V, and make keyframes easy. Ease. Let's back to Joro composition and let's see here. Okay, let's change keyframes. Go to last keyframe here and back to here. Select these keyframes, hold Alt, move to right. Back to here again, let's see. Okay, not bad. Let's select this 
foot left press air and foot right press air make rotation keyframes go to here and change rotation 3 and this minus 3 go to last keyframe select first keyframes ctrl c ctrl v and this ctrl c ctrl v select keyframes make easy -ease. let's see nice so for loop animation let's add expression loop duration select this hand controller let's change work area full seven second and hold alt click this icon click this icon play button go to property select loop out duration for done expression click this empty area and our animation is loop with three keyframes let's close and select this right hand controller hold alt click this icon go to click play button property and loop out duration click this empty area and close and here the animation hold alt click this icon and this icon go to play button property loop out duration and again play button property loop out duration for done expression click this area let's close and let's see nice and hold alt click this icon and this icon and this and this go to click play button property loop out duration and this play button property loop out duration and this and this click here for done expressions let's close expressions and let's see nice let's open here composition and again hold alt click here play button property loop out duration let's see okay not bad so thank you for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe channel like video and please follow me on instagram good luck